Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly zodiac reading. This reading is for the 25th to the 31st of December. It is the last week of this calendar year. Um, what I am uh, I'm initially getting for you guys is, I'm getting that you guys are really kind of like loved up, or if you're not loved up yet, you're, you're soon to be loved up. Um, for some of you, it might even be something in regards to falling in love with yourself you may need to fall in love with yourself um but there is love that is coming in also what i'm getting for you guys is you're going to be finding something very valuable and you need to bide your time with communicating about this i feel like just don't speak like keep it quiet or be quiet you need to Kind of bide your time in regards to what you say when it comes to things that you discover. It might be actually a physical thing that is valuable or it might be some information, a discovery of some sort. Um, but what I would say to you right now is really bide your time with communication. Keep your cards to your chest. Um, observe. You need to observe a lot and wait um, to share things at, at this moment in time. Um, because I feel like the reason why you need to wait is because it's going to be a lot more effective further in the future. Um, the information or, you know, the discoveries that you have or what you want to communicate, it's going to be more effective to wait a bit and then communicate it. Maybe you're having to wait for people to catch up with you to be able to understand what you're saying or maybe there's going to be a situation that arises which is going to be perfect for then sharing certain information um but yeah i feel like just bide your time with communication um when it comes to information you find or things that you find um I'm going to get into your cards now. I have already shuffled them, so I'm just going to start pulling them straight away and we'll see what is coming up for you for the week ahead. Wow. Okay. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, the Four of Cups, Death, the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Moon, the Hierophant, the Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess. This High Priestess, right, is coming out so much and she's giving me major, like, secret vibes. <laughs> it's a lot of secrets. Either... Uh, that have been kept or that are about to be kept. Um, okay. The five of wands, the 10 of wands, the knight of cups, bottom of the deck, the king of wands. So I feel like you're all sweet. At the beginning of the week, you're all sweet. You're sitting nicely. Everything's all good. You're very abundant. You're very attractive. You're very beautiful. Everything's all peaceful and calm and great. And yeah, you're feeling wonderful at the beginning of the week. Everything's all good. Um, and then you do something. You're creating something. And you're not satisfied. You're not satisfied. There's something emotional here that you are creating. But it leaves you dissatisfied. Creating a new beginning. I feel like there's an unconscious. This is unconscious. You've created you're creating something that you're not going to want or you're going to be dissatisfied with it it is a return it's something you have done that has produced something but you're not happy you're not satisfied and it feels more of a burden to you 
than something that you actually want. There's an action, something you have done has produced a result that's going to be coming to light this week and you're going to feel very dissatisfied with it. Um, you're not going to be happy, you're going to be stressed out. We've got here the Magician, the Four of Cups, the Fool, the Six of Pentacles, the Devil and the Nine of Swords. Um, things are going to change for you. There is something that wants to come in to create a new contract here. There is a transformation for you with the death card. Um, and there is people or somebody, people want to work with you and unite with you and build with you. But there is a sense of fear here. There is secrets here. There is insurity. There is unconsciousness here. Um... There is a contract, new contract, to bring in some new wisdom for you. I've got the Hierophant there. There is teachings and learnings, higher learnings here for you. Um, but you are kind of resistant. You're resistant to this with that Four of Pentacles. It's something that you don't necessarily want. You want to stay how you are. You kind of want to keep your life how it's been going, but you've done something, you've took some sort of action of some sort somewhere along the way that has produced a result and it's coming to light now, it's coming to fruition now, but it's not what you want. But it's going to be teach you anyway. You've got, you've got that hierophant here anyway, so you're going to be learning a lesson of cause and effect. You're going to be able to recognise the action that you took that has produced this. Um, but you, it's going to send you into more shadowy energy um more kind of privacy secrecy you're going to be a bit like taurus as well it's really interesting actually when i've been doing these readings lately there's so many similar certain signs that are next to each other kind of a holding similar energy it's so weird but they're kind of sim there's like a similar energy that's going on um and similar to Taurus, you are going to be serving yourself more, prioritising yourself. You're going to be, although different to Taurus, Taurus are being told to, to speak the truth. You're being told to be a bit more private right now. Um, of which you are going to be. But there's some sort of conflict here. There's conflicting energy with others. Um, and you're going to feel very weak or overwhelmed by this. There is emotional support coming in. This is to do with your emotions. Um, the energy. There is energies here that are conflicting because the energy that you have used to do something which has yielded or manifested a result for you, you're not wanting to receive. And it's like, well, the energy is just confused. It's like, well, you've done this, to, which produces this. So, you know, take it. It's like a conflict because you're not receiving what, what you've created, if that makes sense. Um, because there's this kind of, it's either a lack of awareness or it's a chosen ignorance that you are having here or maybe a little bit of ego thinking that you're above um above the repercussions of certain things or above um you, you can bypass or miss the results or the effects of what you create if that makes sense whatever it is whether it's to teach you awareness to teach you conscience and to teach you cause and effect or to, you know, pipe your ego down a little bit. It does that. It is going to do that. Um, but there is support that's coming in. And the results for you. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, 
the four of wands the five of cups and the emperor so you are gonna you're gonna have some help and support there's gonna be progress the world again is at the bottom that was at the bottom before i took these these last cards out um there is harmony and unity and support here you've got somebody who supports you who loves you who cares for you who is really going to stand by your side and help you and bring back a sense of harmony and unity and energetic balance here somebody is going to help you it's there's an energy here um a masculine energy that is going to help you and your feminine energy though is going to learn a big lesson there's going to be like this sense of emotional loss regardless of what gender you are there's going to be this sense of um there's going to be this feeling of emotional loss here of sadness but that makes sense because energetically you're not receiving what you have created so the universe thinks because you took one action that creates a specific result that that would bring you joy but you're choosing you're like no no i don't want my life to change right now i want to stay how it is so you're going to have to let go of that but you are going to feel it emotionally here you're not you're going to stay how you are but you're going to be stronger you're going to be wiser you, it's responsible for you to kind of do this right now and you you are going to be wiser you're going to acknowledge certain things and you're going to take actions with a lot more caution and responsibility for yourself moving forwards um you're going to be creating major stability and abundance here for your life and for those involved going to be traveling a lot you're going to be having a lot of freedom and you're going to be having a lot of fun um and celebrating but you are going to recognize and realize the truth in regards to certain values you're going to learn something about certain values here um emotional joy and values and it may be that you you don't want certain things right now because you wouldn't have learned the lesson if you'd have accepted the manifestation right now you wouldn't have learned this lesson so that you then you wouldn't be why you wouldn't have the wisdom to be able to do things better in the future if that makes sense it's kind of like passing up on something to be smarter and it might be that you know you this this thing that's manifested you might have that same manifest manifestation in the future but be able to receive it and be more solid with it and be ready for it or for some of you it may be you become aware of what you're doing and what the results that that creates so you then you know you just really don't want that so you will start to change the way you conduct yourself either way whatever it's going to be um you're going to be wiser you're going to be smart you're going to be more solid more secure more stable you're going to be solid but you're also going to have freedom as well and exploration you're going to have freedom there's going to be this sense of freedom here and there is fun there is fun that is coming in so even after this sort of like loss or this feeling of emotional depletion that you feel um you are going to be moving forwards and you are going to be having fun with friends there's going to be friends that come in um to help soothe um, your emotions or help fulfill you emotionally and bring back joy into your life but there is going to be that wisdom and that that um realization there of karma and of cause and effect um 
that's kind of what's being taught to you here. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that is helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if it resonates. If you like the reading, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. If you're interested in personal readings, the information is in the description box, along with uh, links to my crystal store and my TikTok. And other than that, have a great Christmas and happy 2024, guys. Take care.